Hello, so today I'm going to be listening to the song Die Another Day uh, by Dance Gavin Dance. Before I get into this reaction video, uh, before I start complimenting Tillian's vocals, when I compliment Tillian's vocals, I am not endorsing what he did and the whole controversy, uh, all the allegations and stuff. Uh, I'm not endorsing it at all. I feel stupid to say that, but I know there's... There could be that one person uh, that could get mad at me for complimenting Tillian's vocals. So, yeah. That just straight out. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, yeah, that that kind of got dark for a minute. But, um, yeah. And I'm probably going to put something in the full album reaction uh, to Jackpot Juicer. So, yeah. I don't know. That's all I really have to say. Sorry I had to get into it, but I feel like it was need to be said because there's always that one person out there that would probably get mad at me for uh, complimenting his vocals. But anyways, let's get into the song. Oh. Oh. I saw a comment on this uh, visualizer saying this sounds similar to Idola, and it definitely has that vibe already. Well, how they. Ooh. Oh, this. Man. Contrast between Tillian's vocals and the uh, guitar layers, man. Oh man. I love how atmospheric this is. Going back and forth with the dissonant leads. This is so good. There's not a whole much, a whole lot of uh, innovation, but um, man, the consistency of everything is so nice. Oh. Ooh. Man, I love how they utilize dissonant notes in this song. Oh man. Ooh. I love whenever Tillian uses a bunch of distortion in his uh, clean voice. Or mixing his clean voice with distortion. I think that's the proper way of saying that. Damn. I really like that ending there. It was kind of just like a bridge. It didn't... Usually in song structures, it goes verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, usually. And then there's the outro. But 
I think it was just like verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then a long bridge or slash outro. But um, I really liked it. I guess it's the more uh, this song is way more consistent than the two other songs that they uh, put out uh, for this album. And I do agree with uh, whoever this person is, uh, Bruno Nari. Uh, it sounds very Idola, and I really like it. And yeah, I, I, I think they're uh, hiding a bit of um, spice that is an album. There's probably better songs in this album that are probably way more catchy, way more in your face. But um, this is just a nice track to hear some, uh, uh, some softer uh, stuff from them but um yeah i'm i'm super excited for this album again i feel like it it's going to be album of the year it's going to be on repeat uh for the rest of the year but um who knows what may come in the fall but um there's some also uh some other swan core bands that are really uh that are releasing new music i i can't think of all of them in the top of my head but um yeah but you'll definitely see some more reactions uh to some but, um, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions, please put them down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.